Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Some of you may already know this is my second channel. I do have a gaming channel as well, but on this channel we're going to be doing bullet journals, art and craft. So in this video we are setting up my 2023 yearly setup for my bullet journal. I'm using an Archer and Olive notebook. They have become my solid favorite. I will be linking everything I use down in the description below for anyone that may want to get the same supplies, washi tape, pens, things like that. I don't use too much variation in this. I do use some Posca paint pens, some jelly roll gel pen and some micron uniball liners that you will see later on so i'm doing a simple filigree and washi tape setup for my yearly spreads I'm going to be keeping the colors fairly simple, mostly gold, silver, and black with a little bit of purple in there. Sorry for the little uh, <laughs> little pops of my head popping in there. Um, getting used to filming from a top down and things. Making sure that one, I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and two, that I'm not getting in your way of seeing what I'm doing. It's quite a learning curve. But also for anyone that might be interested, I will be, fingers crossed I'll get them done before the new year but uh, I'll be turning some of my spreads into digital downloads which once they're available they'll be available to download on uh, my patreon Also, as this is the first, I suppose, official video on my channel, the other things to expect here will be sort of studio vlog type things and traditional art, digital art, me trying out some different crafts and things like that that I really want to give a go. I've got a giant list of crafts and projects that I'd like to get done or at least try 
and have my hand at. With the digital downloads, I will be providing a few variations. So one that I have kind of fully done digitally for you, and then a line work version, which you can color in yourself once you print it off. I will say in this spread, I have included a key. I tried putting a key in on my very first bullet journal when I was very new to bullet journaling and I never really used it. But because this this year, well next year, it's gonna be split between a lot of personal and work related things. I thought I would try having a key again. So I have left the color column blank for now because I haven't quite decided what colors I want to assign to sort of work, personal appointments and things like that. I'm still working out the general sort of like color theme going forward. It will be the same in another spread a little bit further on. But uh, once I have decided and things, there will be a shorts a short video uh, with any little updates I do to the bullet journal just to keep you all in the loop and obviously we'll do maybe a pre flip through oh I do also use there we go I also used some Tombow brush pens I forgot I used those and we'll see if a key helps me this year or not I imagine the color coding probably will. I'm not sure if the actual symbols will help me in that regard. If any of you any of you would like to see flip throughs of my previous journals, I will pre-warn you. A lot of them never got finished. Some of them are six months, some of them are four months, and then go to a basic kind of monthly spread and to-do lists but there's no <laughs> there's no shame in not finishing it not doing fancy artsy spreads or anything like that failed so to speak you know I didn't keep up with it I felt like I hadn't the the failure feeling set in but I just had to simplify my spreads. So if doing all of this is, is too much, don't do it. Use stickers, don't draw things or keep things simple. Like the only reason I'm hoping that I'll be able to have more fun with my spreads this year is that I'll be doing things in a decent amount of time prior to actually that month happening so that I don't forget <laughs> to uh, keep up with it. Thank you. 
So this is my future log. Again, I've kept it fairly simple, kind of almost mo monochromatic with the gold, silver, purple and black. Now we're moving on to my lunar calendar for next year. This will definitely be one of the free downloadables that I will be doing my best to have out very soon if it's not already out. And then the link for that will be down in the description. Again, keeping things very simple with the silver, gold, and purple and black. Here I did start to color in with my fine liner and realized this was not the most productive way to do it and I am making my camera shake a lot while I'm doing this. So I just went through and marked what sides needed to be 
colored in and then I go back in with a black Tombow brush pen. So the full black circles will be the full moons and so on and so forth for that. I would love to hear what spreads you have included in your yearly setup. I always end up finding so many I'd wish I'd included and things like that. A little while ago I got this fancy hole punch, side punch, border punch, whatever you want to call it. And I really wanted to use it. So I did use that here. Again, I got that from Amazon and that will be linked down below if you wanted to get one of those for yourself. The Amazon links will be affiliate links just for full transparency. And now we're on to my 2023 goals page. Again, super simple theme. The filigree does take a little while to uh, do, but I, here I will include work goals, personal goals, and we're also uh, renovating the house so I'll include all of the house goals and things like that Okay, we are moving on to my year in pixels. I haven't done a year in pixels before, but I also wanted to try and track my moods next year. Uh, Pre-warning, this might be a little bit TMI, but I am, for the first time since I was 16, coming off contraception. And I haven't had a period or anything really in that time and uh it's been it's, it's been a long time so i want to sort of keep track of how i'm feeling uh, there is a period tracker on the next page as well because i have no idea what my cycle is anymore so yeah that's mainly what my year in pixels is for as a way for me to see whether my mental health gets any better while I'm not on contraception anymore, if there's a pattern. So, you know, feeling worse, you know, a week before I'm due or, you know, things like that. Sort of almost getting to know myself again in a more natural capacity.
Again, I'm using my Tombow black brush pen to color in the squares where they are not needed for those months. And again, I haven't quite decided the colors that will correspond with each mood as I need to. I'd like them to kind of match the color themes for the year. So I have decided on the January one. So I just need to gather my pens and see which one or ones I would like to assign to the others. And here we are with the period tracker again, keeping it super simple. Looking back at it now, like I did adjust the, I do adjust the placement here in a second, but I wish I'd moved it slightly more over towards the title of the page. That can be done either in the next setup or next year's setup. Also, the reason why I'm leaving a fair few blank pages is I'm not sure whether I wanted quote pages or doodle pages. And I wouldn't mind having doodle pages, personally. Another reason for me to sit down with my bullet journal and have a little bit of a doodle, whether it's more filigree or an idea I have for a sticker or something for my Etsy shop. So I'm using the same grey Tombow marker I used to uh, do a drop shadow earlier on to just uh, line out the boxes. I haven't quite figured out a key for this yet. If you're also a menstruating person that uses a period tracker, I would love to see what kind of keys and things that you use to track yours. And also if uh, any of you recreate any of these i would love to see them feel free to tag me on instagram Now moving on to, this is my kind of master sheet, master lists for cleaning. I can get, uh, I suppose, kind of decision paralysis overwhelmed by kind of just having a lot of lists in my head. Whereas if I've got everything already written out, then I can go, okay, right. So this day I will push the hoover around and do some dusting. I can just kind of cycle through what to do because I also do do, I do do. I also suffer with chronic pain, so I can't do too much in one go. So having bite-sized chunks where I can still feel productive and tick something off of a list, but also with it not being in my head, I have a stopping point so I can make sure I don't do too much and screw myself over for the next day.
this is another new spread for me to read and watch. I am going to be trying to get back into reading and I very much tend to stick with my safe programs and films. So I have a list in my head of a million and one things that I would like to read and watch, but in my head it gets forgotten until I see something I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to watch that. I'll remember that for another day. And then what do I do? I don't remember it for, the, for, the, for another day. It doesn't happen. So a way to sort of be a bit kinder to myself so I'm not having to or I'm not absent-mindedly going, oh, I'll just remember that. I will add it to the list of things that I would like to read and watch. I've got quite a few things I'd like to read and watch, but I am going to try and not overload myself and actually set some realistic expectations because unfortunately with my chronic pain, it's mostly in my back and my neck. So if I'm doing an activity like this one that involves me looking down at something it often triggers it I can't do that for very long hence why there's a bit of a outfit change because I wasn't able to film all of this in one day so I've got to take it a step at a time and not overly push myself otherwise I screw over future me and we don't want to do that So here I'm doing a wish list and to purchase page. So the to purchase are any big purchases that I would like to make for my business and things like that, that are kind of like a, if there's a sale on kind of situation, I want to keep an eye on that, Black Friday and things. And then wish list. Things that I don't necessarily need, but I would like, but like larger purchases. You know, if I want to get a certain mold for resin or a certain set of stationery <laughs> or some paints and things like that, that I don't necessarily need, but I would like. So this is where I go back and start adding in some washi tape. Again, these will be linked down below if, uh, if you wanted to get these for yourself. They have got moons and stars on them. So if, if you hadn't already gathered, I am quite a fan of the moon and stars and slightly more witchier vibes of things, if that wasn't already apparent.
so we are all done with our yearly setup so we're just going to flip through I'm going to hide the light as well so you can see all the shiny metallic goodness from the gold and silver Posca paint pens. Unfortunately, the silver doesn't show up as well, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. I would love to know what spreads you always do in your yearly setups. I would love to see what your setups look like as well especially if you've chosen to recreate any of these and again there will be some free printables down in the description below and uh, I hope you have enjoyed my first bullet journal video I very much enjoyed filming it for you guys and things there's obviously a lot of things that will get better we'll be doing more things and my January setup will be coming towards the end of December so please do keep an eye out for that if you enjoyed this and also if you are not subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button any and all support is appreciated and I will catch you guys in the next one.